Hey guys, this is the last day of the arena season, right? Couple hours left, get your attacks in now. I'm gonna show you the team I'm using. This is the current team. I'm using, it's the most versatile team I found in the arena. Um, it doesn't win against every comp, but it has the highest win percentage against the most comps. And I'm gonna go do a battle here and then I'm gonna show you the build after this first battle. All right, let's show this team in action. We're gonna go against this first team, this first team. First team seems like a standard comp. They're using the monocle. They're also using Oyster Cookie. Um, we're both around that 1600 trophy rank. I'm trying to get the Grandmaster uh, before the end of the season, but I'm guessing I'm gonna have to get to around 6,000 trophies, maybe top 1200. We'll see if I can do it. It's a hard push when I uh, had to take off a little bit of time there, but it would be really cool to get those extra rewards in Grandmaster. So it looks like I'm gonna get this victory. Yeah, just wiped them out pretty easily there. Oh, that Vamp Revive with the Magic Candy at plus 10 is so nice. Also, you want to get that plus 10 candy on your Vamp because in Guild Battle, Vamp is absolutely crushing it. Some of my Guild members are doing up to about 20 million, dollar, 20 million damage with just one cookie, with just Vamp in Guild Battle. All right, look at that damage, 4.5 from Espresso. So, pretty decent damage. All right, so I, sh I said I was going to show you the build. Here's the build. I am running the financier cookie with full damage resist 7.7 percent cooldown i'm trying to get that shield on my espresso quickly on that second and third rotation so my espresso doesn't die i got dark cacao with that 47.7 percent damage resist i have caramel arrow cookie with 10 percent attack speed and about 42 percent damage resist that damage resist needs to come up espresso cookie full attack 28 percent damage resist and full attack on my vamp, I would like to get more crit percent. I have no crit right now. Um, so that's definitely a weakness in my vamp. We're looking at a 6,100 trophy team. They have a, wow, five-star ascended financier cookie. That's impressive. Let's go. Let's see if we can get this win. All right, they are running the triple tank, pomegranate, and vamp. This is gonna be a very interesting matchup. Will I get this win? I'm not entirely sure. All right, my team's still doing really well health-wise. Espresso Cookie's gonna get that one minute attack off with Vamp following right behind. Wow, and that did massive damage. They are hurting my team though. It is close. Caramel Arrow, stay alive. Got that monocle heal. Dang, this is tight. Am I gonna take out their vamp? I took out their vamp, but they still have their triple tank. Man, I got that victory. That was tight. I better get this victory. Okay, got it. That was a close one. I really had no clue who was gonna win in the middle of that fight. 14 trophies, I'll take it. Look at that well-rounded damage. Caramel Arrow Cookie actually did more than Espresso course lived longer vamp with some nice damage there as well all right they got financier espresso 5900 trophies 1.4 million power let's go this will be easy. 788 they are running parfait espresso vamp ouch my vamp already bit the dust I really like Caramel Era Cookie, um, full damage resist build, able to survive, just put down that additional damage, right? That helps you just push the damage slightly over the edge when you're using Espresso and Vamp. Plus, when you're using Dark Cow, right, you have injury, so they only have like 85, 75% of their max HP bar, so it's a good combination. It helps you kill them pretty fast. New list. Okay, 5,900 trophies. That's what we're going to attack. You require my expertise? Grandmaster 3 at 5,900. That's not that far away. Okay, they're running Frost Queen. Frost Queen. Vamp. This comp does surprisingly good against Frost Queen. Now, if it's Frost Queen and Caramel Arrow Cookie, that's a weakness. 
of this comp, this comp will not do as well against Frost Queen and Caramel Arrow Cookie. But just Frost Queen uh, without Caramel Arrow Cookie, this comp does pretty decent. All right, take that vamp out. Of course, that vamp disappeared right when I wanted to take the vamp out. We're both using our skill at the same time, so I cannot take out that vamp. Okay, that was a close one. Got the victory. 13 trophies, I'll take it. Vamp did all the work there. Oh, we got a speed rope, so we're gonna go against Caramel Arrow Cookie. We got Cotton. Is this also gonna be Frost Queen? Caramel Arrow Cookie and Oyster. Let's go. I'm loving this season. I'm seeing so many variations of comps. I'm seeing Vamp come back. We are seeing all these fun combinations. We're seeing Espresso Cookie. We're seeing Frost Queen come back in the meta. I'm loving it. Caramel Arrow, I did not like before. But in these comps, I'm liking Caramel Arrow. Got another victory. Moving up slowly. A victory for the just. Got those two wins. 5,600 trophies. Let's go. For practical magic. Hold on. Were they in Master 1568? A Grandmaster? This comp is too good, I'm telling you. All right, Espresso, gonna suck them in. Hit him with the vamp attack. Espresso eventually dies under a minute mark, that's fine. Caramel Arrow though, surviving, barely hanging on. Okay, man, Eclair. Eclair is strong against this comp. If you see Eclair, watch out. Okay, this comp has a weakness, and that weakness is Eclair. Nice. Let's see, were they in Grandmaster? Okay, they're just Master 1. Got it. 5,400 trophies. They're very close to me. I'm only 80 above them. Sorbet Shark being used a lot too. Okay, Sorbet Shark and Vamp. Um, I'm not really afraid of the Sorbet Shark comps when I run this. Uh, when I run this and I see Sorbet Shark, it's pretty much a free win if I'm being honest. Um, but like I said, if I see Eclair, I'm probably gonna lose. So there's definitely a weakness to this comp. Okay, we got this one. And as you notice, everyone's running plus 10 vamp up here. So if you can get that vamp to plus 10, um, that's definitely what you want to push for. Yeah, I don't want to waste my attacks on 4700 team. Let's go refresh. Bunch of 5900s. All right. Pomegranate, espresso, and will it be vamp? Yes! The comp I was running like two days ago. Rank 727. They already took my vamp out! That is dirty! Alright, I just need my espresso to get that attack off with vamp right around that one minute mark and take out their espresso. They took out my caramel arrow cookie. Come on now. All right. The double tank showdown. Here we go. Take them out, Dark Cow. Man, if we can just take out Wildberry. Yes, got that victory. All right then. Russell did most of the work there. I 
All right, let's not. I don't want to see Eclair. It's Eclair, my weakness. I think I'm gonna lose. I think I'm gonna lose. I cannot fight against comps with Eclair. Clear weakness for whatever reason. Eclair just wipes my team out. Let's see if we can get one now. We're gonna try. Man, I just love the timing here for Espresso and Vamp going right next to each other back to back. My Espresso is gone. Carol, my arrow, stay alive! Okay, I got three cookies alive. They only have two. I'm gonna get this win! I got it! I got it! Clears my weakness. I still got the victory. Sweet. I will take it. Alright, as you guys can see, this is a really, really solid camp comp. Very versatile against a ton of different variations of the vamp comps that you are seeing. Finish hard in the finish strong in the arena, right? You got a few hours left. Try to make it up to that next tier. Get some good rewards. Thanks for checking out this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.